Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Afcon and welcome back to Second Take. If you guys have been active on our channel recently, you know not too long ago we had a video come out that was talking about the Thunder. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because in today's video, we'll be talking about Josh Giddy, an 18 year old Australian basketball player who was drafted this year by the OKC Thunder with the 6th overall pick. Giddy, before being drafted by the Thunder, spent one season playing with the Adelaide 36ers who are a team part of the NBL. Before we dive deep into the video, make sure to like this video and subscribe. I promise you will not regret it. This will be a shorter video compared to our other videos due to the fact we will be specifically talking about one player and someone who is just entering the NBA. And now with that being said, let's head straight into the video. To begin with, we'll be talking about Josh Giddy specifically in his early life before he entered the NBL, then transitioning into his skill set, then eventually transitioning into how he'll fit with the Thunder, then finally I'll give a verdict stating if he was the right pick for the Thunder. Josh Giddy, as I mentioned before, is an 18 year old phenomenon that stands at 6 foot 8, 205 pounds, and runs point guard. Some of his strengths are his size, passing, ball control, and his leadership. Some of his weaknesses include being an average athlete, maybe even below average average, inconsistent shooter, a slow release, and he also sometimes tends to be too passive and unself. If I had to give him an official NBA comparison, he reminds you of someone like Joe Ingles or Thomas Aransky or even Ben Simmons with a shot if he can develop a consistent jumper. In the NBL, Giddy averaged 11, 7, and 7 while shooting nearly 43% from the field and 29% from downtown spending only one season with the Adelaide 36ers. Some key things to note is Josh Giddy led the NBL in assists just in his rookie season. Some consider him to be a Ben Simmons with a jump shot as I mentioned before and he is underrated when it comes to changing the tempo of the overall game. Now before I get into how Giddy will fit in with the Thunder, let's look at Giddy before he joined the Thunder. Now before he became Australia's top prospect, he attended St. Kevin's College in Melbourne. After when he got with the VIC Metro and Australian under 18 team, he averaged 28 and 6 while leading them to a title. And in January of 2020, Giddy helped the NBA Global Academy win the Tornio Junior in Barcelona. Due to his performance, he also earned the honors of winning the Most Valuable Player. And on March 12, 2020, Josh Giddy signed his official one-year Adelaide 36ers contract. This was a little surprising as Giddy turned down numerous Division I NCAA offers, including Arizona. Some accomplishments that he earned in the NBL include as I mentioned before, he led the NBL in assists, is the youngest player to ever record a triple-double, and he finished as the NBL Rookie of the Year. Now heading into how he fit with the OKC Thunder, as most of you guys know, Kemba Walker, who was recently traded from the Celtics, has recently have been waived by the Thunder, opening the point guard position for the Thunder who are in need of one alongside their rising star, Shea Gillis Alexander. I truly believe that Giddy can fulfill that role for the Thunder. His playmaking ability can really help the Thunder and can take a lot of load off Shea. Shea is the leader of the team and will run the team that can easily be understood. So getting a point forward to accompany Shea is actually a very good thing for the backcourt as not only it provides spacing but also for Shea to be able to spread the floor and not having all the pressure mainly surrounding him. If Josh Giddy continues to develop a consistent shot, has some sort of competent defense, and just continues to grow in areas he might already be good at, I wouldn't be surprised if he can be a future all-star or at least a valuable piece to some different organization. The Thunder, as I mentioned in my previous video about them, are clearly a rebuilding team that is trying to confirm who their future pieces will be. With a young core of Shea, Lou Dort, Giddy, Alexis, and Trey Mann, they seem to have a solid future in hand. Now I would deep dive into the Thunder's other picks they made in the draft which are actually really solid picks by the way. But this video as I mentioned before is specifically on Josh Giddy. and if you guys would like me to make another Thunder video in the near future let me know in the comments below. I think as soon as the Thunder season starts Giddy will automatically be in the starting lineup as he was the first prospect they drafted and are in desperate need for a point guard that can accompany Shea. Though I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to continue with Theo Maldon as a starting PG, at least to open up the season. Shea Gillis Alexander just recently signed a massive extension with the Thunder which confirms as he is the main building block. Now with the Thunder continuing to build up depth for their roster, the question that rolls in is how are they going to roll with the rotations as they have a lot of young players that need to be incorporated. 
I have just talked about this, but I think with Giddy's skills, I think it would be best for the Thunder to incorporate him early in the starting lineup. If they don't decide to, they also drafted Trey Mann, who was also drafted alongside Giddy. And Theo Maldon, as I mentioned before, was the starting point guard for the Thunder this past season. So, as I, I would mention Ty Jerome, but he is already the backup shooting guard for Shea. It's just a question of how they're going to incorporate those three guards. I would assume they'll keep Theo in the rotation. He's only in his second year. I just don't have high expectations for him, mainly due to the fact he doesn't have a high ceiling compared to Trey Mann or Giddy. By the end of the next season, I have Giddy having the solid role of the starting point guard position, with Mann and Maeldon fighting for those bench minutes in which I think Mann will eventually overtake Theo. Now, I'll be transitioning to the final part of the video regarding if I think Josh Giddy was the right choice for the Thunder. Before I state my verdict, I'm sure you guys can probably assume what my answer will be due to the fact of some of the things I said throughout the video. Yes, I do think that Josh Giddy was the correct choice for the OKC Thunder. As we all know, Giddy is a point forward. The fact he's standing at 6'8 and running the 1 is huge and could obviously be definitely used as an advantage. The Thunder, who are in desperate need for a point guard, definitely will get a lot from Giddy, who will be Shea's future backcourt partner. Overall, the decision of drafting Josh Giddy with the 6th overall pick was a surprise and is obviously a huge risk. But if the Thunder continue to improve him in stuff he struggles in, for example defense or shooting, consistently, he can be a really vital player very soon in his career. I do think not only improving on those key elements, I think gaining muscle weight is something Giddy should also try to do as he won't be able to guard people towards his height as they'll generally have a advantage on weight and strength over him, making them a complete liability on the defensive end. Now with that being said, this concludes my video on Josh Giddy. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this pick and if Thunder made the right decision. And make sure to subscribe and like the video and I'll catch you next time. Peace.